at this. What is going on? Sheen is delivering a bunch of products where they contain worms and scorpions? Now, this looks odd. I need to look at this. This looks really odd. If nothing else will make you stop shopping at Shein, then oh. I hope this video will. Because I'm going to be real. I kind of want a scorpion. Somebody on TikTok went no, I don't. I hate scorpions. Absolutely huh. viral for ordering their Halloween costume from Shein. But uh, they got a look at that thing. That's a fat one. Holy. I want to get a scorpion 3D. Huh? As they got a new pet scorpion in their pocket. Oh my too. god. I'm sorry if this makes me sound stupid, but how did this even make it through customs at the airport? Are there no safety precautions? No. Are the packages not being checked and scanned through TSA before they're shipped? No. And the response to this video is genuinely insane to me because some people were legitimately trying to defend Sheehan in this situation by saying, why do I think that this was set up to slow down their sales? What? <laughs> Putting a, a goddamn thing. scorpion in the package. To buy from Shein, not only is this good for the environment, but it saves them money. <laughs> Why? Does Bro, that is the most brain dead take I've ever heard. What? The, where did you? Where did you get those connections even from? The huh? concept of lower sales for a billion dollar company bother you so much? But fine, you want to lick the boots of Shein and believe that this was just a plastic toy scorpion? Okay. Fine. So then why did the original poster, who barely believed that this was a real scorpion as well, provide footage to the BBC of a live scorpion crawling and moving around in the little Tupperware container wait, they no, moved wait, it to? Wait, no, wait. Wait, I want to see it. Sophia messaged us what the she fuck? Found a scorpion in the top of her sham package, and we hardly believed it until we saw it crawling around. I oh, look at that big boy! I zoology professor to see if she knew what to do. What the fuck? Know, so oh, get that fucking way. Oh, I hate campaign. scorpions, man. Like, y'all have a phobia against spiders? I have phobia against scorpions. I fucking hate them. And uh, putting it in there with tongs. And once it was finally in there, we soaked a paper towel in water, which it started uh. drinking from really quickly. And then luckily within two hours, someone came and collected. We can give, um, this is crazy. <laughs> We can give her her the the and on top of that, what the, the CRW reported that the scorpion has a medically significant sting and that it could potentially be life-threatening. No so way. So how the hell could she possibly explain this? Especially because this is far from the first time that this has happened. Because Wait, a girl in 2022, almost three years ago, also received the exact Wait. same scorpion in her package from she Imagine you open up this shit and you find a damn alive scorpion. That is crazy. What do you do, man? In as well. Once is a How did it survive the travel? Like how long can a scorpion live? Freak coincidence. Twice is a genuine running problem that she and can't just keep It happened with Norway before with team orders. What the Huh? Off. Especially because now everyone who's received their package yeah, from Sheen keep the past smacking it, man. Keep smacking the shit out of it. That's right. Checking them from outside their house very carefully, or just straight up beating their packages to smithereens before opening them up just to be safe. And honestly, I don't blame them. They should burn it. Burn the package. But nobody will have to live with this paranoia from here on out if we all simply just stop shopping at Shein. And then the chance of receiving a scorpion in our mail is actually 0%. Which, the fact that the chance isn't even 0% to begin with is bizarre, but let's move on. Because people are just finding scorpions in their Shein packages. Yo, Ash! Earlier in August... Hope you're doing good, Ash. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. For eight Come months, I appreciate it. W, w, guys, listen, W is enough for Ash. This Hope you're doing good, Ash. I haven't seen you in ages. Hope you're doing great. Package from Shein and was greeted with multiple worms that were crawling throughout the bag. Congratulations. You're our 10th million customer to get a free Scorpio as a thank you for your continued patronage. Yeah, thank you. And thank you so much. Her clothing, either leaving a trail <laughs> Them. Ooh, oh, wait, you got some big yeah. boys in there instead of scorpions? Bro, these are some big rollies. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Leaving a trial on Hope you're doing good, Ash. How's it going? What have you been up to recently? Oh my god. Oh. Where are all of these bugs coming from? And how genuinely pathetic is Sheehan's checking system? If they even have one, which I doubt they do. That they've completely missed scorpions and worms being packed inside their shipments. Are you trying and to send all of Australia to these women? We should uh, break, make um, a clothing company from Australia. Uh, we should make a clothing company. And once it gets successful, take all the insects you find in Australia and send it around the world and see what happens. Like take every order for like a month and just constantly send them uh, like one kind of weird bug from Australia in every single package and see what happens. More disturbing question. Why is it happening so frequently? Because again, three years ago in 2021, this exact same thing happened with the exact same worms. Like uh imagine you open up a package and it's a flying ant in it, or there's like some kind of big spider in it. I want a gorilla in my package. People throughout the years have visited this video from three years ago to comment that the exact same thing happened to them the day that they received their package. Clearly, what the fuck? this is a running problem. And if you thought that Timu was any better when it comes to animals and insects, you'd be dead wrong. Timu would have turned up stinking of shellfish. Oh, no! Timu order turned up stinking of shellfish. Oh no, no. How does that happen? What the f huh? What the Bro, they gotta be trolling. There's no how the fuck does this get in there? Like, like, come come up for a second. Like, how does this shit get in there? Okay, like this is ridiculous. How the fuck does this shit get in the package because i can understand the scorpion i can understand war but how the fuck did this shit get in there <laughs> no, 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 no. wait what they're real don't buy the starfish curtain ties oh there's a curtain bro it's not a real starfish it's a fake one Oh, there's something in... Th what the... Huh? Now, the original listing has been taken down by Timu, which I'm sure is unrelated, right? So I visited an alternative listing of the exact same product on the... Oh my god. Wait, so you're telling me they just use real starfish? And paint them? Their website, where in the... It was a real starfish. What? The, uh, wait, wait. That's that's kind of. <laughs> you think it's a decoration, but you get a real dried starfish. <laughs> it says it's made from polyester. So oh yeah, poly. Yeah. Were they lying then, or are they lying now? And why have they removed the original listing, but not stopped selling the actual product? But the fact that Timo has access to deceased starfish for some unknown reason to begin with is incredibly disturbing is it not so i got this timu lamp as a gift from my sisters and i had it in my room and it came home from work after the hot day i was like cross on hundreds of ants underneath it i'm almost wondering if this is a fucking literal real croissant covered in resin and it like loki looks like a fucking croissant under there You can see the ant. You see the ant, man. Bro, what the fuck are they doing, man? That's a real croissant. Dude, like. <laughs> are you actually joking me? That looks like so pieces. funny. Look at the crumbs. I guess there's one way to truly know. 
No, what the, you crazy fucking nasty girl. No, what the fuck, no. Rum just came out of there. You are dumb. Stop, stop being nasty, stop. You, stop, stop, stop. It's, it's literally fucking food. So not it's only wild. is Timo selling real starfish as decor, but they're selling real food as decor as well. Their lazy asses just bought a croissant, shoved a battery in the middle of it, and covered it in plastic. There is no way in this world that that could possibly be cheaper. So who even greenlit this process? And what do you know? They've also removed this listing because they can't get away with selling real food anymore. So my question then is, if I buy this 78 piece toy food play set from Timu, will I even have to bother cooking Christmas lunch this year? Or can I just get Timu to cater There's for an avocado there, so um, I think some of them will be fake. And I could just melt the resin off. That's like you the know, price of one avocado. Since they want to make everything so realistic. But I jest. Because if you think there's any universe where I'm putting anything that comes from Timo near my mouth. Yeah, put it on your face. It's a piss. Because they might be advertising this as toothpaste. But I can assure you right now. This is piss. This is not toothpaste. Why is it two different colors split down the middle? Why is it sparkly? And why does it need to be sparkly? Why is there not a single ingredient listed and not a single allergy warning? What flavor is that even supposed to be? Why is she yelling though? I actually thought about it quite a bit. I don't understand why she's yelling in her own home. She's not like outside, but she's like at home in her room and she's yelling. Maybe this is just how she normally talks. <laughs> She's a rowdy one. She likes to yell. <laughs> and the fact that they're so cheap, they couldn't even fill up the tube all the way is crazy. But let's go back to Sheehan, shall we? Because in As May she of this should, year, that's right. we found you out go, that queen. some of their purses are actually made with literal garbage. Path, your card gets stuck in the purse you brought from Shine, so you have to rip it, and you find out it's made out of a COVID testing kit box. You, you got to admit, though, this is a little impressive. Like, the way they're, like, reusing everything. <laughs> Food. <laughs> Paper. <laughs> this is a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. This is fucking funny. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> Recycling, yeah, they're from, recycling. But on the other hand, why are we defending she and selling their customers actual literal garbage? Let me be perfectly clear, okay? She doesn't give a damn about the environment, okay? They didn't do this for sustainability. They did this because they're cheap. Let's not wear our rose-colored glasses here, okay? Because they were perfectly happy to not disclose the fact that they were reusing materials. They were just hoping that you'd never cut the purse open to check. But you know what else is a health hazard? She is. This girl is going blind. I don't know, but since wearing those sheen lashes, something is different. I I I, I don't. <laughs> uh, you seem normal, man. There's no. <laughs> There's nothing different at all. False lashes. Because this poor girl <laughs> bought a pack of lashes from Shein and her eyes immediately became infected after applying them. My sister has been ordering lashes online for like eight years now and not once has this ever happened to her. And she posted a follow-up video to say that it took almost a month, so 30 goddamn days, for her eyes to heal. That is how bad her infection was from buying these lashes. Look, Why I don't is know she what mewing? kind of chemicals are being Picked used brain on rock. the Everybody got immune. But people have even broken out in hives just by opening the- What the fuck is happening, man? They're transforming. Bro, these products are mutating people. They're turning into mutants. Like, look at that. She's developing a third type of skin. These bags. 
So I would suggest the following just to be cautious. Wear gloves, rinse the pack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I the only one that like buy shit and wash them? Like there's very rare time. Like I'd only do this maybe sometimes with shirts that I wear without washing it. Very rarely though. Uh, unless I need to really need to wear need a new shirt if I'm on travel. But I usually like whenever I buy shit, I wash them. I clean them instantly. Like I, you got, I, dude, I, I've heard people get new underwear and use them straight up. I'm thinking to myself, what? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> I take everything I get, I wash it instantly, man. I don't know what the fuck is there. What? You, yeah, some people do that, man. That's wild. Packaging, and then washing the clothes inside of the package before putting them on your skin. Me, so happy I found a cute dress. I think it's a malicious employee or some chemical content contentment. Uh, it's chemical. It's chemical. It's because of the wor where they're working and the products they're using. They have a lot of like con uh, actually chemicals on the products that are not allowed in EU and probably not even allowed in the US. Weirdly enough, everything is allowed in the US. But like there's a lot of chemicals components on their manufacturing and products, either from the fabric itself or from the factory that they're producing, like whatever they're doing in the factory itself that are like sitting around the products. So that's why there's so much chemicals in these things. And that's why her eyes went like this. It's all, it, it, it's just like, there's just a shit ton of bad stuff. And also some of these actually use plastic and other kind of uh, products that are really harmful to you. Like they are really, really harmful to you to have like around you or on you. And they just sell them as products. So you think you're looking at a plastic piece. Are you looking like at a rock or something like that or a metal piece and you think it's normal? No, this shit is awful for you. There's like some weird chemical around this shit and produced in a way that just will make a reaction on your skin. And if you're sensitive, you're kind of fucked. Off of Sheen. I had a horrible allergic Also, reaction. washing will usually not help that those metals, but like if it's just a chemical around the product object, you can keep wash it. But like uh, there's like chokers being sold by Sheen and stuff like that that are made with a metal that usually will react to most people because the metal itself is like some fake bullshit chemical nonsense. Any type of washing will never help that, for example. And yes, I did my <clears throat> research before dropping the Sheen name. Be Ooh. careful. Wash your clothes no matter what. I always wash my clothes as soon as I get them. Same. But I clearly forgot on this day because the rash yeah. is all Bro, this is the thing, like, I don't know, my skin is really weird, like, it's not sensitive, but I feel shit, man, I feel it, like, if I wear something, and if something is wrong, I feel like my skin is, like, it's saying something, so I'm just, you know, I wash, I wash everything, man. Where the dress Bro, she got and I know fucked. What some people may no say. wonder oh, she's I mad. I a reaction, and I order from Shein all the time, and to that I say, not everyone is you. Just because something didn't affect you, doesn't mean it's not going to affect yeah. somebody now else. Now know what she's it's yelling. It's just better to be safe than it is to be sorry. Nail glue? That ain't no so nail glue, that man. That's fucking straight up acid. That's crazy. So their eyelashes are giving some people infections. Their clothes are giving some people hives. Oh. And their nail glue literally sizzles and burns. I think it's pretty clear <laughs> what the universe is trying to tell us and that it's these products shouldn't come anywhere close to the human skin. But there looks like an apologetically scam you as well. Exactly. Because this Twitter user said that Timu should be counting their days because their mother texted them saying, why I order Layla a shoe organizer from Timu? And I get this. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, Wait. your mom is on the case right now, man. She's gonna, she's gonna get them out of business. What did she say? Why I order a Layla a shoe organizer from Timu? What kind of shoes are, is this like, the, bro, you're, the, what the f I was thinking you could maybe make like ice cubes out of it, but there's a hole underneath so you can't. What kind of shoes are you putting in there? 
Shoes for babies? For ants? Like, what the no. fuck is this? Bro, she just threw it on the floor. I'm sure organized up at home. The girls' Barbie dolls. The miniature Pomeranians' itty bitty shoes for their paws during the winter time to keep them warm. God, that is such a scam. And you couldn't even use this to store makeup in there because it's still too small. So what other use is this mother possibly going to get out of this? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this You know video. what I wonder? How many people do you think go and try to talk to their customer service about their products being shit? Like, imagine you are like, I bought this from this, like, cheap-ass Chinese store, and now I'm going to talk to their customer service and be like, I did not get what I received. I wonder how many people will be, like, thinking to themselves, mm, I got to tell them, I got to get a refund, I got to get a <laughs> Because they're gonna, they're all for a trip, man. <laughs> I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. W video. That was a really good video, actually. I actually quite like that one. Let me link it. I, I I thought that, like, I didn't know it was this fucking bad, to be honest. I didn't know it was this bad. This is kind of crazy. It is nuts. Now, I would never order shit like that from some random, like, uh, a random store. I, I'm not be. I I don't. I did. I just don't trust it. I think it's gonna be something wrong with it. To be honest, that was crazy. That was one hell of a trip. Yeah. Now think a little bit. Whenever you go by those knockoff store and buy something for three dollars, there's a reason why. There's a reason why that jewelry or that necklace or that shirt is three dollars. Okay. Think about it for a moment. But anyways, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to click the like button, sub to the channel if you want to watch more reacts, and come by my Twitch channel on twitch.tv slash Adley if you want to yap with us live. I'll see you guys around. Take care. Have a good one and uh, peace.